welcome. My name is Katrina and I am the Senior Data Technician here at CCR. I've created this video to enable you to deduplicate records within Excel, but more importantly to help you identify the potential pitfalls you should consider specifically with contact data. So here I have my Excel spreadsheet and as you can see I have some very obvious duplicate records. In normal circumstances, of course, these would be hidden within perhaps hundreds or thousands of rows. But for the purpose of this example, I have obviously left those off so that it is clear that you can see the changes I am making. In my first example, you can see that my record appears four times. If I were to send a mailing based on this list, I would inevitably receive four copies of the same item and I would be rather unimpressed. My goal, therefore, is to reduce the records to just the one. Now the first thing you need to do is to select the cells you wish to dedupe. In this case, I select A3 down to H6. Next, you select the Data tab across the top, and then there you should find the Remove Duplicates function. Now the box that now appears is asking which of the fields I wish to be considered. If I leave all the boxes ticked, I am saying that every field must be the same. So for, these, for this purpose, I am going to leave them ticked, say OK, and I'm told there are no duplicate records. Obviously, that's not the case. If I have a look at these first two records here, I can see that the ID is different, a 1 in record 1 and, of course, a 2 in record 2. So now I go back to my options. I untick the ID field because now we are going to ignore this criteria so they don't have to be the same. I select OK again. Still, I have no duplicates. Now, again, if we look at the first two rows, you'll see that the first row has a telephone number, the second does not. Now, as far as the system's concerned, although it's a blank value in the other, it still is not the same as the telephone number above. Therefore, it's not a duplicate. So, back into my options, remove the telephone number as a criteria as well as the ID field. And now you can see when we select OK that we have n we do have records identified as duplicates. The second row has been removed. Now row three, record three, has no title, which is why it hasn't been uh, identified. And record four only has an initial rather than the full name, and it also has the city missing. So to counter this, go back into our options and we can untick those fields that I've just specified. So as well as the ID in the telephone we already had, I also untick the title, the first name, and of course the city. Now you can see that we do have just the one record remaining. Now, obviously this is our goal, so that's fantastic news. However, removing so many steps of criteria can be quite dangerous, um, and I will go into that in just a moment. First of all, I'd just like to point out something before we move on about the telephone number here. Now, before we remove the duplicates, I had two records, if you remember, one containing a telephone number and one that did not. Now, the record we are left with currently has a telephone number. If, however, the telephone number had been in the second row rather than the first, then the problem is that Excel will deem the first record it comes to as a master record. Any subsequent record will be deemed as duplicates and therefore removed. So in this way you could potentially lose rather a lot of telephone numbers. The same can be said for alternative numbers as well because if I had a work number in the first row and a mobile number in the second row then my mobile number would be lost in the same way. Obviously something to seriously consider because you do not want to lose vast amounts of information. Obviously this is not related to just the telephone number, this can be related to any of the fields that you have unticked that are likely to be deduplicated. So moving forward onto my next example, you can see that I now have an additional record in my data set. Uh, it just so happens to be my lovely sister in this case. Um, if I use the criteria that we previously selected, um, now the only ones we had remaining at that point were the surname, the address lines and the postcode. And when I select OK, Paula is seen as a duplicate record and she is removed. 
Obviously, it's not the desired effect for an individual dedupe because obviously Paula and I are different people and I would have preferred to have kept her information. So just to highlight uh, the potential loss of data there when removing these sorts of fields. Now, moving on to my third example, you can see there are slight variances in the data. This is typical of the common database, uh, partly because of the way it's captured and obviously various sources of information imported in. Um, people will fill out their names completely differently when they write on forms. So it, it's just one of those things, unfortunately, regardless of the validation that you put into place that will happen. So in this example, we have partial postcodes. We have the word road in full as well as the abbreviated RD. And we have misspelt first and last names. So in this instance, showing these abbreviations because of the exact logic that Excel will apply to its rules, this means that none of these records actually are identified as duplicate records when I try and select the criteria, unless I remove them all, which of course um, it is not going to happen. So in, in summary, really, what I'm trying to say is that Excel is not equipped to really deal with the complexities of deduplication of contact data. Uh, we don't recommend that you complete large con large volumes of data deduplications in Excel. Uh, we actually have a software in-house um, which we use which has fuzzy phonetic matching, uh, which in simple terms means that some of the problems we've encountered here, will actually, we can actually use those and amend those rules, amend those criteria. We can highlight those records in a very different way for example, asking it to look at perhaps just the first initial of a field and not the entire thing as an exact match. It also looks at phonetics. So, for example, the letter S for sugar and the letter F for Freddy uh, may be considered the same in some circumstances because you would hear it differently over the phone. Well, I hope that you found this video useful. I thank you very much for your time and I wish you the best of luck in your own ventures. If there is anything that CCR can do for you or your company in regards to data migrations, ETL loads, uh, data cleansing, or of course deduplication, then please do not hesitate to contact us on the information that will follow now. Thank you again.